Yo, what is happening everybody? Welcome back once again to another upload on the channel. Guys, thank you. You've all been smashing the hell out of that like button recently. So a big thank you to you all. Now, start of season six on Apex Legends, my pretty much my favorite game at the moment. Um Yeah, so enjoy the gameplay in the background. But what I want to talk about today, and this kind of follows on from the last few videos I've been doing and talking about this whole subject, is that before you, you know, dislike if you're a PC player, you know, listen to kind of my full kind of analysis, um, so to speak. So, I'm sure a lot of people's come to this video who's not subscribed to me who are triggered just purely by the title. But, you know, if you can just calm down, you know, for one second. PC gaming, right? Everybody comes out with it, you know, all the PC sweats, triads or whatever. They say PC gaming, the master race, you know, it's a well-known, you know, saying in video gaming. PC, if you want to, you know, experience, you know, you want to play on the best platform, play on PC. Now, from a technological point of view, you know, you can't argue, you know, that the PC is the best platform to play on when you're talking purely about numbers and specifications. So Apex Legends, for example, PC... 144 frames per second, you know, minimum for me. If you've got, you know, higher refresh rate monitors than that, you can even play at a better, you know, frames per second rate. And, guys, it's night and day. You know, when I'm playing this game on PC, it looks way better than what it does on console. However, that isn't just the be-all and end-all of video gaming. PC, at the moment, as kind of technology has got better, you know, video game programmers, publishers, whoever you want to blame, has basically turned a blind eye to an epidemic. Obviously, we've got the pandemic, which is COVID-19 right now, you know, in society. But you've also got a pandemic of cheaters, hackers, exploiters. You know, may it be a blunt, as you've seen it, you know, on, on some clips on the internet. People you know, aim hacking and you're know, spinning 180, you know, degrees, following people, you know, through a hill, um, you know, aiming through, you know, surfaces, shooting people, you know, with blatant wall and aim hacks. May it be, you know, other, you know, hacks and exploits out there, which I'm not going to go into in detail, but PC gaming right now isn't the best place to you know, play video games. I know console's got its own problems with Chronos Zen and, you know, stuff like that where they've got scripts and it's abusing the aim assist mechanic. There's just so much cheating, you know, in video gaming right now. And I don't like to call anybody out on it, but I'm sure a lot of YouTube content creators who upload gameplays, so I'm not talking about news channels or anything like that. I'm on about these content creators who upload gameplays. You know, get 30 kills, you know, fairly regularly in Warzone or Apex or whatever. A lot of these people are probably going to be cheating. If they're on PC, they'll probably have some low-key hacking. You know, everybody seems to think that, you know, the hacks are always obvious. Well, they're not. You know, we've all had it where we've got killed by somebody and you just think something's off. You know, you watch the kill cam and you're like, I kind of think he knew I were there. But the cheaters aren't, you know stupid well they're, they're stupid for cheating but that's stupid from a morality point of view you know they've got no morals whatsoever but from a point of view of their intelligence they're willing to spend you know a lot of money to gain the advantage on somebody and the majority of the people who hike aren't even that good anyway you can take an exception to this you know for you know, YouTube players who might be very, very good anyway, but they know they can be even better, you know, basically if they use a hack what, you know, removes the recoil, may it be a hack what just kind of slightly pu pulls a bit of aim lock on. They're not all, you know, hacks what just jump out and you think, wow, a hack. You know, Call of Duty, as well as Apex, shouldn't display how many people are watching you play. But both of these games haven't really got a cheat system, What? sorry, a built-in anti-cheat, what works. You know, there's big content creators on Apex, for example, where they've reported people and they've, they just never get banned. The only way they get banned 
is if a YouTube content creator puts it on their Twitter, hashtags or in Apex cheats or you know tweets it directly at the developers, then they get banned. You know, the developers are just reacting to kind of player videos. It, it's crazy. You know, it's 2020. Why isn't there automated systems? In the game, what can detect if somebody's getting 30 kills every single game? It flags it up, then some human reviews it, and then you go on there, you know. These video games, you know, are making more money than ever. You know, you've got Activision boasting, what is it, so many billion in microtransactions. Why can't they just employ 100 people to basically go through video footage of suspected hackers and then take action? You know, 100 people maybe can get through, I don't know, 10 cases a day in detail. So they could potentially be banning a 1,000 players a day. I think it needs to happen. I know there's a lot of people out there, you know, in the community who are just turning a blind eye to this. But when you play, you know, video games, you know, I don't get much time to play video games. Earlier on today, I turned on my PC. I put on Warzone. I played one game. The first person I come across was a blatant aim hacker, so he wasn't one of these who try to keep it low key. He was just 100% hacking. He was his his cursor was like going in a 45 degree angle and just instantly snapping on my head every single bullet headshot in a blatant hack. And that's the only time I had to play a video game. You know, at that time period, I had enough time to play one game, and then that was it. I, I was done until this evening, and I'm making this video right now. It's pathetic. But everybody wants to be MLG. I can kind of understand the logic why they want to do it. Because they want to be the next Ninja, Tifu, or whatever their favourite streamer is. There's even big streamers out there who have been accused of using stuff like this. If you guys know anybody who's been accused or who you think is hacking and cheating, let me know in the comment section. It'll be interesting to see. And the hacking problem is obviously a lot worse um, on PC than what it is on console, but there's still kind of cheaters on console. Um, they don't necessarily hack. There is hackers out there, but the majority use these Chronos Zens. I've done a video about it where they kind of basically exploit the aim assist. Um, you know, they have, you know, recoil calibration on there, so pretty much any weapon you can pick up, you can full auto it, and it's, you know, shooting on a dime. There's rapid fire mods drop shot mods you name it you know there's a mod there and it's all scripted it's all programming it's all coded you know video game companies boast about making more money than ever so why aren't they investing you know in our gameplay experience and making it so that we can actually you know be confident we're playing a video game without cheaters and this is ultimately left as you can see the gameplay in the background which proves this this has made me now just play console again I'd rather have 60 frames per second and know that there's a much lower chance of me coming across some son of a bitch who is hacking. Like I say, you get people using Chronos Zens, Chronos Maxes in um, video, well, console gaming, but it's not as bad as it. Obvious aim hack or wall hack. Um, so I'd rather have the lesser of the two evils. Like I said, every single game I play on Warzone, I feel like I'm dying from a hacker. I can't prove it's a hacker. But yeah, the anti-cheat in both games, Apex is just as bad. It, you just don't see it as much. Um, but yeah, some, something needs to be done, guys. Has anybody you know who's watching this video got any idea what you can do to stop all the losers hacking? Because from my point of view, right, and I know this was highly controversial with Valorant, where they put some on your computer, and if you hack, it basically bans your computer. But obviously, it allows them to access certain, you know, confidential files. From my point of view, I would rather do that than, you know, just coming across hackers and people like that. Because me, I'm a nobody, obviously, so they can hack, do whatever they want. They can do fraud against me. I've got no money to do it anyway. But yeah, guys, something needs to happen. You know, I, I've basically quit PC gaming right now. It's a waste of time because every single time, well, not every single time, 50%, and that's probably accurate, 50% of the time I die while I'm playing on PC. I'm questioning it. I watch the kill cam and I think, how did he know I was there? Or how did they, you know, manage to hit every single shot, a headshot from a stupid distance with an SMG? You know, how have they managed to keep that, you know, SMG hitting me in the head from, I don't know, maybe 200 meters? 
and controlling the recoil and getting a headshot every time. You know, I just call bullshit. I, I really do call bullshit, and that's why I'm playing on PC. Sorry, on um, console again. Yes, I only get 60 frames per second, but like I said, I'd rather get 60 frames per second than 144 frames and, you know, be playing against less hackers. Like I said, console has its problems, don't get me wrong. There's always the occasional hacker, you know, on console, but it's at least... 50 times worse um, on PC. And as I die here, I was kind of annoyed with myself. I kind of got a bit, you know, um, leery at this point. Thinking, I've got to kill him, I've got to kill him, I've got to kill him. And I'm like, damn you, top <laughs> Cold steak. We a gas, man. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for the recent support. You know, you've been smashing that like button amazingly. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.